Okay, we're going to learn how to use the Qtown script for Maya to create a simple city very quickly and very effectively. First thing you have to do is actually find the script. Now, I got mine from creativecrash.com. Uh, you can also find the script there simply by searching on Google for Qtown for Maya. If you get it from Creative Crash, you're going to have to register onto their website, but since their website is such a fantastically good resource, it's definitely going to be worth your while to uh, to sign up to it. Okay, uh, if, if you can't, if you still can't find it, I've included the uh, the link to it in the information for this video. So I've I've downloaded it, and here it is. Just open that up, and it comprises of two files both of which you need to end up in your script folder so if you're on a Mac I'm afraid you're going to be out in the cold on this one you need to find your equivalent of the my documents area if you're on a PC it's much much simpler it's my documents basically within which there is a directory called Maya in uh, lowercase letters within which are folders corresponding to the versions that you're using uh, in my case 2009 and 2010 as well as a scripts folder within there so if you go ahead and open up the scripts area open up the zip file that you got and take those files and drag them in in my case to move and replace because I've already got the files there now just for good measure I tend to put it also inside the version that I'm using of Maya within there there's also a directory called scripts so just in case and again move and replace because I've already got it okay so now if we uh, if we load into Maya right here's one I uh, produced earlier you can see it's uh, pretty impressive certainly good enough to be seen from a distance in the background or if it's obscured by smoke or haze so the first trick to do you need to create a polygon plane so if I uh, if you go up to the polygon menu select plane click expand it in size a little then you go over to the attribute editor load up polyplane 1 and then increase the subdivisions now this depends on how good your computer is but for the sake of argument we'll have it as 8 by 8 after that you need to freeze the transformations basically making it so that it believes that it is only uh, one unit in scale and you do this to make sure that all of the antennas and various details on the buildings are all properly aligned so you go up to modify freeze transformations next what you do is you select the faces of this polyplane and then what you need to do is you need to type in to the mailbox down here uh, the script to actually open up the the Q town builder in this case it is I C capital Q capital T O W N when you do that it brings up the options that you've got now you're gonna have to experiment with these yourself but they're all fairly self-explanatory Later on I might do a tutorial to show you how to take these towns a bit further and make them make them more impressive and texture them, things like that. So once you've got all this, once you've got all it selected and this open, press build Q town. Now this is going to take a different amount of time depending on how fast your computer is. And uh, voila! There you have it. It's as simple as that you can start putting textures onto this you can start incorporating it into your scenes it's very very low poly which is fantastic for games and very background detail stuff right dead simple and i hope that's been helpful